everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to go over all of the live action Disney movies that are coming soon to Disney Plus. As Disney Plus is basically Disney's sole reliable source of revenue right now, there are a lot of movies to cover today so get comfortable everyone, it's going to take a while. <laughs> First up, I'm going to talk about the Enchanted sequel, which will be called Disenchanted. If you haven't seen Enchanted, the basic plot is that a Disney princess finds herself stuck in New York City. And it's basically one of the best movies of all time. Adam Shankman will direct, Alan Menken is writing the songs, and Amy Adams will reprise her role as Giselle. Considering Amy has been nominated for an Oscar like six times. It is amazing that she is willing to do a Disney Plus movie. It must be an amazing script. No other cast members have been confirmed yet, but I think Indina Menzel is guaranteed to be in it, considering Disney owns her because of Frozen. I absolutely love Enchanted. I think this sequel has a lot of potential and I cannot wait to hear more details. Second, we have the live action Pinocchio based on the 1940 animated film. It is about a living puppet who, with the help of Jiminy Cricket, must prove himself worthy of becoming a real boy. The film will use CGI animation to bring Pinocchio to life and it will be a musical. Thank goodness, because When You Wish Upon a Star is a Disney classic. Only one cast member has been announced so far, which is Tom Hanks as Geppetto. The concept art they shared at the Invest Today looked very true to the cartoon, which I'm really happy about. The story of Pinocchio is actually kind of dark, and it could have easily gone in a more serious direction, so I'm really happy they're sticking with the cartoon and keeping the same tone. The third film to go to Disney Plus is Peter Pan and Wendy, which promises to be a new angle on the 1953 animated film. The plot description for this adaption is Wendy rebels against growing up by going with her two brothers to a magical land ruled by an ageless boy obsessed with adventure who is locked in an ongoing battle with a pirate captain. It will star Jude Law as Captain Hook, Yara Shahidi as Tinkerbell, Eva Anderson as Wendy and Alexander Maloney as Peter Pan. Peter Pan holds a very special place in my heart as I was lucky enough to play Wendy when I was a kid. I know a lot of people think it's overdone, but I love it and I will watch it no matter what. The fourth film is Hocus Pocus 2, a sequel to the 1993 cult Halloween classic. It will have the same director as Enchanted, Adam Shankman. No cast has been confirmed yet, but considering that the three stars, Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker and Kathy Najimy, recently did a Hocus Pocus virtual reunion fundraiser, I think they will all be back. Now I have a confession, I have actually never seen Hocus Pocus, I'm so sorry, but I do see the giant love for it and I really think it will be a success. The fifth film is Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, which will be released in spring 2022. This property was originally an animated TV series in which Chip and Dale start a detective agency. However, based on the description of the film, I think it is going to be completely different. In this film, cartoons are living among us in all of their animated forms, and they go a little overboard to keep up with the current popularity of CGI. The film will be a hybrid of live action and animation. The cast will include John Mulaney and Andy Samberg as the voices of Chip and Dale, and Steph Rogen doing a cameo. I honestly have no idea what to expect from this movie. The fact that they are getting big stars to do essentially chipmunk voices shows they must be going in a really different, unique direction. The sixth film is Sister Act 3. It is a sequel to the 1992 and 1993 films and it will again star Whoopi Goldberg. She will also produce alongside Tyler Perry. I didn't see this announcement coming but there is a lot of love for Sister Act and I think it will go well. The seventh film is a reimagining of Cheaper by the Dozen to be released in 2022. The story is centred on a multiracial blended family of 12 navigating a hectic home life while managing their family business. Gabrielle Union will star in this film. She has done a lot of stuff, but she is probably best known for Bring It On. I really love the original Cheaper by the Dozen films, and to be honest, I think it's going to be really hard to beat them. However, hopefully they will change the story enough to make it be its own thing. The eighth film is a remake of Three Men and a Baby. The original was a 1987 comedy about, you guessed it, three men looking after a baby. Shocking, I know. The most surprising thing about this remake is that Zac Efron will star. Zac has been trying to distance himself from Disney since playing the iconic role of Troy Bolton, and I'm really surprised he's back. The ninth film is Flora and Ulysses, which will debut on Disney Plus February 19th, 2021. It is based on a book about a 10 year old girl called Flora, who is an avid comic book fan and self-avowed cynic, who rescues a squirrel with unique superhero powers. 
This is the only movie on this list with a release date and I really hope we get some more soon. And finally, there will be three movies based on sports stars. They will be about Keenan Lowe, Chris Paul and... Giannis Antetokounmpo. I'm sorry, I couldn't even attempt that person's last name. If I'm being completely honest, I will not be watching any of these movies. I do not like sport at all and I'm not interested. Anyway, let me know what Disney Plus live action movie you are most excited for in the comments down below. For me, it is definitely disenchanted, but I cannot wait to hear your thoughts. Please like this video if you liked it and please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day.